Your mother will give you 23 chromosomes. Your father will give you 23 chromosomes to give you a total of 46 chromosomes. Each of these chromosomes, they're in a pair, right? So the mom gives you one, dad gives you one, and there is your pair of chromosomes. You have 23 pairs. We call these homologous. Home means same, homolo homologous chromosomes. You also hear them called homologous pairs. You have 23 pairs of chromosomes. So if you were to write that out, one, there's one from mom, one from dad. Two, one from mother, one from your father. Three, one from mother, one from father. These are homologous chromosomes. It would go all the way 22, 23. This is, every cell in your body has this. 46 chromosomes. Now, on that chromosome, and a chromosome is a stretch of DNA that codes for the information that makes you who you are. Codes for proteins that give you traits. Let's say this is a stretch of DNA right here that codes for uh, your earlobe. Okay, this stretch right here. And this is from your mother, this is from your father. Let's say this one is, it's attached and I believe it's recessive if it's, let's say that's attached, and this is different, right? Now, these are the alleles. Attached or not attached are the different types of the same gene, of the same trait. For example, your um, hair color can be brown, I don't know, blonde, black. Those are different alleles of the same gene. Uh, your eye color. Now, sometimes in humans, you have multiple genes that will code for one trait. But to keep it simple, let's just pretend like, entire trait was uh, described by this one stretch of DNA. If, for example, you are, you have a, this is a healthy gene, and this one right here is some kind of disease, we would say the disease is a recessive uh, disease, or carried on recessive allele. So this is be recessive. If, for example, the trait is carried on the dominant allele, we would call it dominant. So let's say we have the, a normal trait, and there's like a mutation. So you have an R, and forever, you know, mom and dad were always giving you the same, but then there was a mutation one day, and this became R. This new trait would be a recessive trait. So you have to get used to that terminology when you call something a recessive trait or a dominant trait. It's which R or which allele is carrying it. Is it a dominant or recessive? Now let's look at um, the chromosomes again. You have 23. Because another very important part about Punnett squares is which ones are autosomal and which ones are sex chromosomes. Okay, you have 23 total, and numbers 1 through 22 are all autosomal chromosomes. 23 is a bit different, and this is the one that determines which sex you are. That's its primary job. Okay, so we're going to talk about the sex chromosome. When you're doing a pedigree, you need to determine if it's recessive or dominant and if it's autosomal or a sex chromosome. The sex chromosome, you have one from your mom, one from your father, but they're not always the same, unlike the autosomal chromosomes. Each one's the same. But with a sex chromosome, you, if you're a female, you have the same, XX. But if you're a male, you have X and a Y. And the Y doesn't code for much. It only codes for if you're a male, determine you're ma male or female. And it's actually losing genes, they say, over time. So right now it has 200 different genes. The male will only get one X. And if there is a recessive, let's say, disease on that X, he will have it. Because he does not get another chance to get a dominant, for example, a healthy gene whatever the trait is. Hemophilia is a great example. It's a recessive sex-linked uh, disease, so the males often can, can get it, right, because it will uh, travel on the X. So we call it X-linked, because often these types of disease are linked to the X chromosome. So in this video, we covered some vocabulary. We covered autosomal chromosomes versus sex chromosomes. Autosomal, by the way, strange word, and it's the reason why the entomology behind the word is auto means ordinary or similar. Uh, like when we go on autopilot, right? Auto. And soma means body. So these are just your ordinary genes that code for your body. 
And that's what that word comes from. We also uh, covered the difference between a uh, gene and an allele. An allele is the different types of the same trait that the gene codes for. So like eye color might be the gene, but the alleles might be brown eyes or green eyes. Very simplified example because that's not really how it works with eye color. Uh, we covered that the mother and father give you 23 chromosomes to give you 46 total. And you have 23 pairs of homologous chromosomes. So there's some uh, good vocabulary words there that will help you out as you go through your pedigrees.